Welcome to Ask Full Skinny podcast. During my consulting sessions, I noticed that even if there is a lot of content about goal setting available on the internet, business people just don't know how to set goals that would be beneficial for them. Even more, most goals that they set will become the reason for their frustration. Disclaimer, this podcast is not intended as a substitute for therapy or one-to-one -one coaching, nor is this piece of investment advice. I'm simply sharing what I have discovered during my 25 years of ongoing research on goal settings and my practice. With the disclaimer out of the way, let's get right into the theory. Modern psychology claims that goals should help us focus on the objective we want to achieve in the future. The idea is that goals help us stay motivated, disciplined, and patient to conduct activities and persist through inactivity that takes goals to be reached. Many modern motivators believe that if we set goals, our conscious and subconscious mind will steer us towards achieving these goals. Modern neuroscience is very precise as far as goal settings goes. We set goals to create a desire. This desire motivates us to take specific actions or even better, to adapt specific behavioral patterns. When the goal is reached, we release dopamine. Then we set a new goal. When we understand this neural pattern and we put it in a constant loop, this goal setting and goal achieving loop will program our minds for success. It is essential that we set goals that enables us to engage in this loop of desire, action and dopamine release. If it's so simple, why do people not just simply engage in this loop? Most common mistakes are if we just set goals that we cannot achieve immediately or in the foreseeable future, the loop will not initiate. Regardless of our previous experiences and our age, if you want to be successful, it is important to start with baby steps, namely small achievable goals in order to create the winning loop in our brain that enables us to achieve all goals that we set our mind to. Most people set goals so abstract and so big that instead of creating burning desire that would lead to actions and behavior change, their goals lead straight into frustration. During my coaching practice, I've noticed most people mistake dreams for goals. Their goals are not tangible, not measurable, and are not broken down into small goals that brain can conceive or adapt. Setting goals that will eventually materialize is a skill that usually needs a lot of work and patience to develop, and unfortunately, it usually takes a lot of broken dreams and missed goals before we are able to set goals that will trigger a positive loop in our brain. The loop that will help us achieve goals over and over again. And now, let me tell you about my failures that became my success story. I was typically, I was typical, I was a typical all or nothing planner in my early twenties. I would set myself goals so big I wasn't able to achieve them. Even if I was experiencing above average economic success, I was frustrated because I missed my goal. For example, my goal was to make $10,000 a week. I would then go and earn only $6,000 and I would be frustrated because I missed my target. And instead of tailoring my goal in a way that would be achievable and I would be successful, I always felt like I'm a failure because I missed my goals. Only much later, I learned that I can set my goals in phases and that each phase needs to be perceived as achievable by my brain. And then I need to celebrate every achieved goals in order to trigger a positive loop in my brain. Let me finish by stating the following. Dream big is a great principle, but must be based on a plan that is made of achievable short and midterm goals. It's paramount to create a winning loop in your brain. Only then you will be able to achieve any goal that you set your mind to. If you need help with setting financial or other goals that you will be able to achieve, you can book a one-to-one -one session with me. The link to my booking page is in the description.